Hi, this is Parallel Post, and I'm Bootleg Greg, featured in A Field Guide to Drinking in America, also on Broadway. Now, locality and freshness is at the core of what we do, and today I'm going to show you how fresh we get with a cocktail simple entitled Apple. We're going to start by extracting some fresh apple juice. And these apples are local out of Gilbert's farm up in Easton. And we're going to do about three ounces of that. And put it in our beak over here. We're also going to extract some fresh ginger root. Alright, now we have our fresh juices, we can start by making our cocktails. Usually we start from the cheapest to the most expensive ingredients. So we're going to do a quarter ounce of lemon juice. We're going to do a quarter ounce of the fresh ginger. We're going to do three ounces of apple. Keeping it local, one of my favorite spirits, Onyx 111. And these are, this is local out of East Hartford. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of that. Also one of my favorite digestifs. This is Green Chartreuse, 131 different herbs. They won't tell me what's in it. A sweetener that's not normally used. <clears throat> this is raw molasses. And I'm gonna do a quarter ounce of that. Put it all in there. No, I like to uh, stir my cocktail before I add ice and shake it. Reason being, the liquids are gonna combine better at a room temperature than they would at a cold temperature. So we're gonna stir that in. Give it a nice little taste. Ah, perfect. I'm gonna add our ice. Get our glass, and this is a tiki style cocktail, so we're going to be using crushed ice. And I want to pat that bad boy all the way to the top. Now, remember, we're using fresh juices the apple is fresh, the ginger is fresh, so there's still piff. So, we're going to get that out with our double straining method. I got our nice golden yellow color here. We got our tiki bitters, syringe style. We're gonna do three drops of those right on top. And right now, we're gonna think about how we're gonna make this cocktail attractive. So again, it's called apple. We take a whole apple, slice the two ends off. And I'm gonna get a little creative. We're gonna take our jigger, make an apple logo. Steve Jobs would be proud the apple.